how much lower can the dollar go? You've kind of answered that question already, but but I'm. It, it's an important distinction to make that that we've had a phase of euro strength, and now we're getting a phase of euro weakness, and I'm just wondering, kind of how symmetrical this whole story is. I think we are right now back to neutrality uh, when you look at various indicators in terms of purchasing power parity. So we are still very far from an overextended strength of the euro versus the dollar. So probably we can go further. What's in my view is really important is what's happening in terms of the status of the US as the leading uh, country in the world. We have obviously an administration which is uh, a little bit more uncertain in terms of its uh, behavior, which is obviously a lot more isolationist or looking inwards yep. in terms of its policies. And obviously this is damaging a little bit the status of the dollar as a reserve currency. So obviously in front of that, when you look at the euro, um, back in the early 2000s, euro was probably around 19% of uh, global reserve currencies went up to 28% and we are back to 19%. So there is obviously a lot of room for the euro to regain some momentum as a reserve currencies for countries around the world. Can the Federal Reserve raise rates when core PCE is going down? That's probably what is quite interesting in the sense that what we have seen recently, which was a little bit unnoticed, is that for the first time the Fed was discussing its kind of academic framework of the relationship uh, between uh, the job market, the inflation numbers, and therefore the monetary policy. And for the first time they acknowledged that beyond the slack in demand, there yeah. might be some structural supply factors explaining yeah. the inflation numbers. If that were the case, that could actually uh, trigger some kind of moderation in terms of raising rates. And obviously that would be also very positive for, for the stock market.